So if you know me, I got two young kids, a three-year-old and a two-year-old. And last night, the three-year-old slept at grandma's. So we stayed up a little later and I look like a mess right now. But in today's video, we got to talk about Bitcoin going past $100,000. I'm going to show the charts with you in a second. Don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. Drop a like. We truly appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you're into stocks, crypto. I've talked about a lot of them. Tesla, Palantir, SoFi, DraftKings. I mean, we've called a lot of big stocks that have moved up massively. Bunch of cryptos too. FET, AOs, Dogecoin's a big one, XRP, Jasmine, of course. But today we're going to talk about Bitcoin because it's super, super important. So let me go ahead and share my screen and let's get right into it, guys. Let me make this screen bigger for you. And the reason I want to talk about Bitcoin and why I believe it's going to go past $100,000 is because what Bitcoin does is what your favorite altcoins will do. I mean, not all of them. There are definitely a lot of cryptos out there that aren't going to move at all or where you think they're going to move. So you got to understand MACD, Stochastic, RSI, everything we talk about. So make sure subscribe and notifications on. Let's get right into it. So with Bitcoin, pretty big deal, guys. Right now, we are on the weekly time frame and the week closes today tonight i believe at 5 p.m pacific standard time and right now you can see this used to be resistance so reject 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 all of this was rejecting bitcoin crashes down reject reject again bitcoin crashes down didn't quite get there but you could even say this rejected this zone crashes down but look at this big bullish green candle what is this telling you right now? Plus a MACD cross. Well, I'm going to explain the MACD cross in a second. Okay. And by the way, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my own opinion. But this tells us a couple of things. If Bitcoin closes the week above these two trend lines right here, the resistance has broken. And now Bitcoin could retest this next week or it could shoot up even higher, maybe retest it again, which would be even more bullish because the old resistance returned to support. Okay. Another good thing is we're above the 21 EMA right now. So all these long wicks are bullish too, especially above the 21 EMA. And this is what we were talking about in the Patreon. So guys, of course, if you want to be locked in, honestly, locked in on when to take profits for your stocks and crypto, make sure you join the community down below. We have a, a great um, a great environment and over 472 members. And most people stay because I've been pretty spot on. So invest in yourself, start to learn and change your family's life forever. But this is looking very good. I love the MACD cross here. You can see last time we had a MACD cross on a weekly time frame. I'll just share with you real quick was back in in between february 5th and february 12th that week okay we also had a big candle i think this closed bearish though this is red but then a continuation for one two three four five weeks so for the next month after the macd cross bitcoin was bullish well this macd cross happened in september of uh, september 23rd okay so we've had one two three so if this repeats we have about two more weeks okay, until pullback. Now, I think it'll go much higher based off stochastic RSI. We're going to be watching that very closely. Let's look at the last MACD cross, and then I'll get into why over $100,000. So we have a MACD cross here, which I think is more like where we're at right now. Okay, MACD cross, very bullish for Bitcoin. This was literally October 2023. Okay. I do think we're more in this area right here. It's lining up perfectly. Everything looks identical with the stochastic. And even if I had the RSI pulled up here, actually, I could pull it up right here. Let's take a look. So we have strong support at the 44 range on the RSI, which happened here and happened here. And then we started to climb. Okay. And then we started to climb here also. So I'm thinking Bitcoin's looking more like this. Back in the day, October 2023, ready to go instead of this MACD cross where this was very short lived, right? So again, we got to see if we close the week. It's going to be very exciting tonight. So I'll be watching the charts very closely. If we close the week, that's going to be very bullish. 
over the next month or so. If we don't close, if we like close below this, then maybe something's changed. Then maybe we back test again, come back down here, test the 21 EMA again around 20, 62, 63,000, and we'll see what happens from there. So why over a hundred thousand dollars? Well, let's go ahead and take a Fibonacci and let's let's look at this real quick. Okay. So let's pull it from the all-time high, which was 73.7, something like that. And let's bring it to the low. Okay, right now we've broken through the 618. This was, let me make this uh, bigger. Okay, so you can see we broke the 618. We're testing the 786 right now. We need a clean break above this. And then the next area is gonna be about 88,000, I believe. Okay. This is an important zone based off Fibonacci's 1.618 level, about 88, 89,000. And then we have the 2.618 level at 112,000. All right. So let's look at something else real quick. Let's exit out of this. Let's go back to the last cycle. All right. If we, let me get rid of all this stuff. It's in my way. All right. So let's take a fib from this high point right here. Let's bring it to the low, which was about 15,000. Okay. See this guy's like, look, it, it runs exactly to the fib line. 618 rejected, push through. Okay. So now it's going to go to the 1.618 level, which is about 103, 104,000. So this is a range that I'm looking for next. Okay, if you're trying to take profit, at least for me, um, this is a range I would look for, just to keep it simple. About 88,000 all the way up to 110,000. But then if we look at all the fib lines, because once Bitcoin's reaches new all-time high, which it did over here, it's in price discovery. So this is where you really need to lock in on the stochastic RSI negative divergence on when to sell. But based off Fibonacci, these are the areas you want to look for. Okay, we got 137,000, and then we have a full Fibonacci retracement, about 150,000. I think that could be um, kind of like the cycle top. I don't necessarily think we're going to get all the way up to 243,000 before a massive correction, before a massive bear market. Um, I think a lot of people think we're going to just go to the moon. But again, that's why you got to be watching technicals very closely. I don't care what news comes out. If I see that it's time to sell, I'm going to be alerting the Patreon. I'm going to be selling and I'm going to be taking my profit because this is an amazing return if Bitcoin even gets this high over 100000 So with that, guys, hopefully this video was helpful. I hope you have a great Sunday and we'll see you on the next one.